I really feel like painting today, so I thought it was a great opportunity to improve my watercolor skills by practicing painting some clothes. So I grabbed my watercolors, some brushes and paper, picked some drawings I had on my sketchbook and started painting. This is going to be fun, so maybe grab your watercolors and join me. I would like to say this video is a tutorial type of video where I teach you some tricks and tips, but the truth is when painting clothes I just go with the flow and trust the process. I try to make my brush strokes as free as possible, and I think that's what makes this exercise so much fun and important if you want to become more comfortable with watercolors. You'll learn to trust the process and to make more free gestural brush strokes, which is very useful when you are working on other types of paintings. On this first painting, I didn't care much about color and kept the palette very limited, so I could focus more on light and texture. Since I really felt like painting, I took my time trying to get things right and working on little details, but I don't always do it. If you don't have much time and still want to practice, go for it, make quicker, less detailed paintings. You will learn more from those than if you just didn't paint at all. When practicing, I try to use shape art supplies, the ones that work well though. The fact that they are shaped lets me practice without being afraid of wasting good material. If things go wrong, I can just throw it away and that gives me more freedom to make mistakes. Making mistakes is the best way to learn and grow, so I definitely recommend getting something cheaper just to play around. I recently got this watercolor set and did a little review on my channel if you want to check it out. It's a pretty good set for the price and I've been loving to use it on my sketchbook and in these quick paintings. Since I was more focused on the clothes, the face ended up looking very different from the sketch, but that's fine, I'm very happy with the result and had so much fun working on it. So I decided I would do another one. For this second painting, I wanted to try something I don't do very often, which is a blue underpainting. I knew I wanted to get some darker tones, so starting with blue would help a lot. Since I don't use black watercolor, I rely on blues and browns to get my darker shades. Once again, it's all about trusting the process. Working with watercolor can be scary and we often hesitate a lot. But the truth is things just flow better when we forget the fear and go for it. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but you have to be comfortable with the materials in order to know what does and doesn't work. After finishing these two paintings, it was already late, so I ended up going to bed. There was still a sketch I wanted to paint, so on the next day I decided I would give it a try. But I wasn't in the same mood I was on the day before, and that changed my approach to painting completely. I chose more violent colors into thicker, stronger lines.
When I put the three together, you can totally see the difference, but I didn't even realize I was painting in a completely different way until I put them side by side. Thank you for watching, I hope this video inspired you to go practice your painting skills today.